during your dive, your computer's going to show you information that's important for you to know uh, throughout your dive. So up at the very top is your current depth, in this case 2.3 meters. In the middle, to the right, there is a dashed line there, and in the insert shown here you can see a 53. Uh, this is 53 minutes is your no decompression limit at this point in the dive, if you were to stay at this depth. Uh, the dashed line means that there is effectively no decompression limit uh, because you're shallow enough um, that, that there's not really an effective decompression limit. Um, so, but look out for that time and that time will slowly tick down as you are spending more and more time at depth. Along the bottom, you, on the left, we have the time of day, 1042 AM. And on the right, we have the water temperature, which is 28 degrees Celsius right now. If you press that button on the right, it will switch from water temperature to, uh, duration or dive time elapsed. So we've been in the water for 38 minutes. And if you press that left button on the bottom, it will switch to your maximum depth of the dive. So max depth so far has been 2.5 meters on this, uh, this shallow pool dive. I personally find the max depth and duration much more useful uh, metrics. So I typically have those showing during the dive rather than the time of day or water temperature, unless I need to know that for some reason. Uh, but these are the, the main bits of information that you will have during your dive. If at any point you want to see your screen better, you can turn on a backlight uh, by pressing the mode button on the right. Sometimes it's useful to mark a bookmark in your dive. Perhaps you saw something of interest and you wanted to remember how deep it was or how far into the dive you were when that happened. You can press the select button at any time to create bookmarks and you'll be able to go back in the dive log and see where those were in your dive. If you want to set a timer during your dive, you hold down the mode button on the right and then you press the select button to start the timer. The timer will tick up and you can press the select button again to pause that timer. If you want to start a new timer, just press the select button again and you can continue to start new timers. If you want to get rid of the timer, just hold down that mode button again. Whenever we are ascending during a dive, we want to make sure that we're not going up too fast. And so I suggest no faster than uh, nine meters or 30 feet per minute, but that can sometimes be hard to, to measure well when you're underwater, right? So on the right hand side of your computer, there is actually an ascent meter. Notice the, the five white dots on the right hand side. As you start to ascend, a little bar appears next to those dots. And when you're at the uh, nine meters or 30 feet per minute mark is when you have maxed out the white dots without going into the red dots. If you go into the red dots and that ascent bar starts bleak, blinking, then you are going uh, too fast and you want to slow down your ascent rate. And I really cannot emphasize enough that it is near the surface where your ambient pressure decreases the fastest. And so sometimes divers think, oh, I'm close to the surface. This is safe. I can go ahead and ascend a little too fast. But it's really the closer to the surface you are, the, the bigger the pressure difference is. And so you really don't want to rush that last uh, few feet or meters from your safety stop. Take it nice and slow all the way to the surface. If at any point during your dive you go deeper than about 10 meters or 30 feet, then the computer is going to set for you automatically a three minute safety stop uh, somewhere between three or six meters or 10 or 20 feet. You can see that that stop is, has been triggered by the stop up at the top of the screen. And as you reach that, um, the safety stop depth, your no decompression limit will switch to a safety stop timer and it will count down from three minutes until you get a dash line again and it is safe to ascend to the surface.